What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to generate complete 3D characters and models with this AI tool called Meshi. We will go through the process of creating a character through a text prompt, image to model, auto rig, animate and finally use it in Unreal Engine 5. So let's get started. Alright, so I'm inside of Meshi.ai which I will link it in the description. So as you can see we have a couple of different options when creating our models and characters. And we also have a community section where you can see models created by others, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and scroll up and let's select the first option, which is text to 3D. So we can see how we can create a prompt and a 3D model will come out of it. So in this case, let's type humanoid and something as elephant, right? So I want to create a humanoid elephant character. Now you could use ChatGPT to create a more elaborate and descriptive prompt which will help you get better results. But in this case, I'm gonna just leave it simple as humanoid elephant to show you how with literally two words, you can create whole 3D models. Next up, we need to select the AI model. In this case, I'm going to select the latest one, which is Meshi 4. Then we can go ahead and select the art style. In my case, I'm gonna leave it as realistic, but of course you can also choose between sculpture and PBR. Then on target poly count, I'm gonna use, you know, set it as 30K, which is default, that works just fine. And the same for topology let me leave it at quad so i'm good to go and let's go ahead and click on generate and this will take around one minute depends on a lot of things but let's just simply wait and there we go so you can see some models are being created and we have different variations where you can select the one that you most like okay so as you can see we have different variants so for example i can select this one which looks pretty cool. As you can see, it's, it's a simple elephant with a humanoid form. And the same goes with this one, but in this case, we have four legs, <laughs> which is quite interesting. I mean, we have different variations for whatever you want. In my case, I think that I like this character over here. So we can go ahead and advance into the next step of our character creation, which is to generate the texture. And now let's go ahead and wait a bit. And there we go, we have our texture generated into our 3D model and look how cool this looks. This is literally insane. This is all from literally two words as you can see. <laughs> this is the future guys. I mean, how cool does this look? And it's pretty much perfect. You will not really see a lot of issues whatsoever. I mean, Meshi.ai has got very, very advanced. So I mean, if you are right now, a programmer and not very good at 3d modeling this might be a very good solution i mean <laughs> how cool this looks so now let's go ahead and try out the other option which is image to 3d so let's go ahead and select this and import an image in this case i'm importing this image that i found on google but what you can also do is import an ai generated image for example from mid journey or grog or even ChatGPT whatever you like and you could end up with really unique results i mean it's going from ai to ai <laughs> so as you can see it automatically went ahead and detected what type of character or image it is i mean look the description is literally perfect friendly character in jello jacket <laughs> is what it is right i mean i didn't fill this in this was automatic so i'm gonna pretty much leave everything by default meshi for 30k quad and just click on generate and now let's wait a couple of seconds maybe one minute or two and there we go we have our 3d character generated and as you can see it's identical to the image that i provided over here i mean it's literally the same thing <laughs> it's, it's perfect i mean of course there's a few things on the texturing that could be improved but remember that this is you know still in progress and you know it is you know improving every single day so this is incredible to just be you know generating a 3d model from an image i mean think of this guys this technology is crazy right so yeah it's pretty pretty cool as you can see right now the really cool thing is that once you have your character generated you can actually auto rig it through here so if i go into the animation section you can see that this pops up and i can select if i had a human character quadruple or things like that so in this case we have a humanoid we're gonna make sure that this is aligned. Click on next, and then we just need putting all of the shoulders, elbows, wrists, knees, ankles, groins, 
and change in position and then click on next and after a couple seconds you will see that our character will be already animating which is going to be super cool took us literally five seconds and we're doing everything inside of meshi which is really really cool and there we go we have our character animating as you can see we can change from different animations and it looks pretty pretty cool now of course you could also export the static fbx and manually rig it in another 3d software so you get more control but you get the idea you can also directly put animations over here and you can see the skeleton and how everything is working i mean there you go pretty cool right so this is what i was mentioning what i did was directly export the static fbx model and rig it in this other software which is accurate and this is a bit more professional it enables me to do you know more things that you know like fingers and so on so it's your choice you can stick with meshi.ai's animator or you can go into another 3 software which i would do because this software makes it easier to directly export it with the unreal engine skeleton which is really cool now it exports with Unreal engine 4 skeleton not 5 but it's still gonna be easier right so accurate gave me a unreal engine 4 skeleton and i need an unreal engine 5 skeleton for this sprite so what i did real quick is create an auto retarder which is very easy in 5.4 and as you can see i'm essentially just adding the elephant as a child of the mesh with its own animation blueprint which essentially just gets the retarder asset and will simply real time retarded all the animations as you can see i have here my character looking good in unreal engine from ai to a game which is simply amazing in really two seconds as you can see this is impressive so that's it guys if you found this video interesting i would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 videos and tutorials so check them out check out meshi.ai the link is in the description it's pretty impressive and you can start for free and now yes with all that said bye bye